Hi everyone, it's Steve from Corporate Gone Country. I'm just an ex-corporate guy trying to do country things. And the country thing I'm doing today is I'm looking around my house for some items which I can permanently plug carpenter bee holes that have appeared in the bottom of my fireplace mantle outdoors. Um, I've known this problem is, exists for a couple of weeks, but frankly I've been a little bit lazy in tackling it. Uh, you can see that the the bees have done a good job of depositing some sawdust on the mantle of the fireplace here. Uh, so I'll clean that up. And then I'll find some stuff that will plug these holes. And the purpose of doing that is just making sure that the carpenter bee adults are inhibited from coming back and using those holes again. Uh, my guess is that there's larvae in here that are hatching. And what I want to do is um, go ahead and plug those holes make it so no bees can come in and no bees can get out. So in searching around my house, I think I got really lucky in finding some wall anchors that uh, I never used from uh, mounting a flat screen TV. So they've just been sitting in my storeroom for about two years probably. They look like they're going to be the right diameter. So I think what I'm going to try to do is pound those into the carpenter bee holes, um, but also since they have, since they're hollow, I'm going to go ahead and fill them with some aluminum foil as well. So if I take my wall anchor that I just found, it's a surplus one in the storeroom, and I stick it in that hole, it goes in there pretty well. I can pound that in as far as it goes, fill it up with aluminum foil, and then cut off the excess. And I think that'll make a pretty good inhibitor for keeping bees from coming in and out. I already installed one of these just to see how it would work. Uh, you can see that I've managed to get this thing flush with the bottom of the mantle, and there's the aluminum foil plug. Uh, I'll need to paint this brown to make it blend in, but that's what it looks like um, from looking at the, the mantle straightforwardly. Um, so I'm going to come up to this hole right here. Uh, I'm going to take my wall anchor and I'm going to push it in there as far as I can and it looks like I'm not going to get that much in there. Uh, the part that's above my finger is the part is about as far as I'm going to go so I'll cut that off the commensurate length. I'll put that aluminum foil plug in there and I'll pound this in with a hammer and see if I can get it as flush as the one I just made. I'm just going to cut the wall anchor with these tin snips here. And I'll take this piece and stick it in the hole. I haven't put my aluminum foil in there yet. But that's going to go in pretty good, I think, when I pound it. Or I can make it just a little bit shorter. Yeah, I'll get it in there. Uh, so let me put the foil in, see if I can't install this one. So I'm figuring out that if I roll my little aluminum foil plug and make it a bit longer than the piece that I want to shove in the hole, I can stick it in my wall anchor there, kind of twist it, and it'll seat in there pretty well. Get that pretty far up there. And then I can pound that excess in uh, when I put it in the hole, it'll make a nice little plug. I got my aluminum foil plug in there. I cut just a little bit more off of this wall anchor. It's uh, just a bit over an inch long. So now I'll come up and I'll put it in this hole. And shove it in there. And I'll take my hammer here. I'm doing all this with one hand. I got a little bit of a ledge sitting down here, which makes it... You know, you can see it a little bit. Well, I pulled it back out of the hole because I had an epiphany. Why don't I just go ahead and cut the flange off of that um, wall anchor. You just put it right on the end there and snip it off. And basically what I'm doing now is I'm just cutting off the flanges um, as well as cutting them to length. Uh, they will recess up into the hole a little bit. And yeah, it's sticking out a little bit, but not as much. I've got three more of these to do. 
So let me go do them and I'll come back with the final product. And just when I thought that the carpenter bees were all gone, here comes one that's looking for a hole. Well, now that I know that the bees are still here, I didn't really want to do this, but um, I saw on other YouTube videos that people were taking WD-40 and squirting it in the hole. Get that up there as far as I can. And I don't know if this will root the female out. That's a, probably a male bee right there. But we'll keep our eye on it and see what happens. Male bees don't have stingers, is what I learned. The females do. Oh, here comes the female. I don't know if you can see her right there. But yeah, that WD-40 drew her out. So we got a male and a female hanging around here. So we got a male over there underneath trying to re-burrow into that plugged hole. And then we got a female that just flew away. I don't know where she went, but I'm going to keep my eye out for her because she's got a stinger. So here goes my last plug into the last hole. And just put it in there like that. Shove it up with my thumb. Get my hammer. Still a little bit long. And I'll cut a little bit more of it off and it should go up in there just fine. So we're pretty well done here. We got two holes there plugged. We got two holes there plugged, and we got one hole there plugged. So five, uh, I think we learned something from going to the first one to the fifth one. Uh, go ahead and cut the flange off that wall anchor, and go ahead and recess the wall anchor up inside the hole. Uh, it'll hold it in there really well, and then we'll get some brown paint, paint over those. And I think we're done here. I feel pretty good about how it turned out. I think those are going to be effective plugs with the plastic and the metal. So thank you very much for watching today's episode of Corporate Gone Country. I'm just an ex-corporate guy trying to do country things. And the country thing that I've done today is use some surplus stuff that I had around the house to try and deter these carpenter bees. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye now.